Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here with uh, a video on a, the Hemingway editor. The uh, song line is free and uh, the URL is here uh, www.hemingwayapp.com one word and this comes up and it's just called the Hemingway editor. Uh, when you start it, uh, this is the page that comes up. It's a basically a a word processor or a text editor for um, uh, like a blog. So it has the typical things you find relating to a blog: bold, uh, italics, uh, different kinds of headers, and the main text and so forth. You can make a link. Uh, this is not something you would want to use for uh, actually writing a novel, for example, or a short story, because it, it puts the space in between um, paragraphs, which I don't think there's a way to take out, but uh, this is not professional uh, novel writing level. This is uh, writing a blog for the internet, which is typically you would have a space, so that's okay. And uh, anyway, uh, what does this thing do and who can use it? Well, what it does is it highlights sentences that are too long. It highlights words that maybe you could use a, a simpler version of. It highlights um, uh, adverbs, essentially a word that ends in L-Y. And it's basically what it does is it mechanically looks for words that end in L-Y and it looks for the passive voice. It has this nice uh, interface, um, nice and clear, nice colors. It has a key over here, it color codes uh, what it does. So for example, uh, yellow tells you the sentence is hard to read and their definition of hard to read is it's too long. Uh, this sentence is only 19 words, which I don't find in a, an offensive uh, length, but uh, once you get above 20, 25 words, you should start taking a hard look at what you're going to do. Uh, 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 take a hard look at splitting it up. Uh, and very hard to read is in the red, and which means it's a really long sentence. And this is a problem a lot of new writers have, or young writers. Um, they tend to have run-on sentences and this will help you identify that and uh, think about how to make it better. Uh, utilize, here's an example of a word that says, uh, and you put your cursor over this and it tells you replace, it tells you replace with use. Okay, well that's good advice. Um, why would you say utilize if you can just say use? Um, I can't think of a reason, honestly unless it's a, a verbal tick of the character that they uh, use big words instead of small words. And, and I've known people like that. Um, I mean, for example, another example is prior to. Well, it highlights that too because you should use before. Why say prior to when you can say before one word? Helpfully is a, uh, an adverb or at least it's in a word that ends in L-Y, I guess it's an adverb in that sense. So um, here's a sentence, adverbs are helpfully shown. Uh, take it out and you have adverbs are shown in blue. Well, that's really all you need, so you don't need the uh, adverb in the first place. I'm going to show you something uh, fun that I've discovered about this is if I put in a, just a bunch of crap and then I put L-Y on the end, it identifies it as an adverb. So this is telling you that all it's doing is looking for words that end in L-Y. You know, so if you've got a character whose name is Wally, uh, well, it's going to say it's an adverb and that you should keep it down. Well, that's a proper name and, and that's it. So it, it mechanically looks for words that end in L-Y and, and highlights it so you can think about it should I use it. Some people, such as uh, Elmore Leonard, say don't use any uh, adverbs and certainly do not uh, modify said or asked or you know dialogue tags with an adverb. Um, 
Another, uh, but there's one problem that new or young writers have is that they, they like to toss around adverbs like, uh, like candy. Phrases in green have been marked to show passive voice. Okay. Well, first of all, this is not quite accurate because been marked is not passive voice. The, the passive voice part is have been. And so, um, this is something you have to look at. And it says uh, down here, use of passive voice, aim for three or fewer. Three or fewer in what, I don't know. But uh, generally, uh, if the, the verb to be and its variants, it, its uh, conjugations, uh, to be, were, was, have been, has been, are the passive voice. So you will often see people, especially trying to sound intellectual, that say, it has been said. Well, this is passive voice. It's weak and generally should be avoided. Um, that doesn't mean you can't ever use the word was. You know, you know the car, car uh, was red. The highlights was because it's telling you that this is passive voice. Um, so you could think of a different way of saying it. So you could say the red car, you know, say the, uh, and so forth. And, and that's really all it does. Um, it's not a grammar checker, so it's not like Grammarly. So uh, you can put in here, uh, uh, their car was red. Well, it's not going to find their, this is wrong, right? Because it should be T-H-E-I-R. Uh, Grammarly will find that. Uh, although you don't need Grammarly because uh, Google Docs does that just as well. So let's uh, just right quick, we'll take something that I have written and see what it does. Because there's another thing I want you to look at. Because I've written this in a word processor and I've cut pasted in here. And uh, this is whoops, this is what it should look like, although it should be indented. Okay, so there's no formatting in, in the um, word processor, there are no tabs because I don't want tabs in it. I just want uh, first line indent. So it takes it and does this. You know, so, so what's it say? It says, well, shall. So here my character says, uh, we shall go into the city. Well, shall is correct. It's not, a too, it's not an overly complicated word, but they think, well, use what must or will. Well, must is not the right word because must means you have to and shall does not mean you have to, it just means that we are going to. Will means the same thing, although I think technically will in this case would be incorrect, although it's a common usage, so it's not a, it's a thing. This is the way the character speaks, so I'll leave it like that. Um, now we go down here, and, and here's an interesting thing. It highlighted this as being a complicated sentence. But what it has done is it has not recognized the fact that this uh, is a separate sentence. It thinks this is all one big fat sentence. And why? Because there's no uh, demarcation. There's nothing to tell it, apparently. So if I hit a return, what happens? All right, well, it puts in this little paragraph that it likes. Um, and all of the problems with it went away because Zorzi knows my plan is a four-sentence word, uh, four-word sentence rather that uh, nobody can argue is overly complex. Therefore, replace with thus and so forth. So it highlights these things, and, and all it really does is it highlights things for you to think about. But just remember, if you do like I did here and you cut and paste this in, um, it will not necessarily recognize the division between paragraphs. So you notice when I add the paragraph break, it says, okay, this is not a uh, red, it's not a very hard se sentence, but it's a hard sentence in why It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's got 19 words. 
and I found, let's just do an experiment. If I cut off one of the words, what does it do? Okay, so 19 words is its cutoff. <laughs> so if your sentence is 19 words, whoops. So the most counted a period as a word. So uh, in any case, if, if it's looking and you've got like 19 words, it thinks it's a long sentence. Uh, and 19 words is not offensive. But that is pretty much all it does. Um, it has also, by the way, uh, we are in the edit mode. It has a write mode, so when you click, uh, click write, all of the color stuff goes away. And you can just write in here like a word processor. Um, I go and edit. It gives a readability rating, so this is basically at sixth grade level, and good because if you put it much above about eighth grade level, most of the people uh, can't understand it. I think whether the newspaper is at about a fifth grade level, for example, uh, and it tells you how many words it is, and then you can get other information: how many characters, letters, and paragraphs, and so forth. Uh, so that's it. Um, uh, the, I guess the takeaway is that if you are a student or uh, so you're in high school or in college or even younger, I suppose, um, or you are a new writer and you, haven't you want to be a writer but you haven't studied writing or you haven't done it in a long time, uh, this might help you realize some problems that uh, many people face in their writing uh, or, or that they're errors that many people commit. And this will help you in that sense to uh, think about what you should and should not include in it. Uh, for a basic writer, for somebody who's been schooled in it or is a, is a professional writer, um, it's not tremendously useful because these things are basic. Um, it wouldn't hurt to use it, I, I don't suppose, because it's free and it will uh, bring up some things and make you think about it. So that's it. 